Hey there, uh, this is Sine, and today I was working on one of my blogs and I thought I'd bring you a really quick video um, that discusses how to manage your blog with plugins. Now, anybody who knows me knows I'm the geeky plugin gal. Um, I, plugins, I just go crazy for them. But there's such a thing as too many, so let's talk about some of the core plugins that you can load uh, that won't overload your site, but that will give you some management benefits. Uh, we'll talk about backing up your database. Now, as you know, your your blog is a giant database. Um, every new post that you put in there, every new page that you add, every new link that you uh, uh, insert, they all go inside the database the blog software actually renders that and displays it to your visitors so backing up your database is crucial in the event of a server hack or a, you know somebody coming in and breaking something you need to be able to bring your blog back and that's through restoring your database so I'll talk about how to automatically back that up every day or every three days whatever schedule you set up We'll also talk a little bit about thanking your visitors. I mean, look, they've taken the time to stop by your blog, read your content, and perhaps leave a comment. Uh, and if they take that action, you'll want to thank them. Now, you don't necessarily want to thank them right away because that looks like it's just one big automation, <laughs> which it is, but we want it to be a little more natural appearing. In other words, they leave a comment, and anywhere from 18 hours to three days later, they get a personal note from you in their inbox that says, hey, I noticed you stopped by the site. I appreciate the feedback you gave me and I just wanted to say thanks. Oh, by the way, come check out the new content that we've added since you were here, you know, three days ago. Uh, that'll go a long way to getting your visitors feeling pampered, and, and frankly, pampered is what you want. Uh, we'll also cover some ways to allow your visitors to share your content. The easier you make it to share, the more they will. Uh, and you can do that with bookmarking and sharing plugins. I'll show you some of the ones I use and, and some to avoid. Uh, we'll also talk about load balancing your plugin. At the beginning of this conversation I mentioned that there's such a thing as overkill. If you put too many on, well, uh, it's just going to slow your site down and that doesn't serve anybody. Uh, you also need to know that Google is now using uh, page load time as one of the signifiers as to whether or not they're going to serve your content to a searcher. So be aware that page speed is now an issue. We'll also talk about plugins that do double duty, and this kind of gets back to our load balancing we were just talking about. Um, if you can get one plugin that does three things versus loading three different plugins, uh, you're going to be uh, serving your content a little bit faster. We'll also talk about when to edit your theme and when to use a plugin. Now, if it's a little simple tweak, it may make more sense to change your your theme uh, rather than add the overhead of you know style sheets and and JavaScript and other things that the plugins might need. Um, so I, I know it sounds like we're going to cover a lot, and frankly, we are. Uh, do grab a, a pen and paper and be prepared to take notes. And do look down below this video. There are going to be resources. The plugins that I talk about and the and the methods that I use are going to be shown down below. So don't be intimidated. Remember, I'm going to take you by the hand, cover it with you step by step. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. Next on our agenda on the plugins page is a plugin called Thank Me Later. Um, basically, it is just exactly what it says. It allows you to thank your visitors via an email for those who've left a comment on your blog. Now, I haven't activated this one, so let me go ahead and activate that. Remember, I told you this blog is kind of in process. There's a number of things that I haven't finished yet. Okay, now that it's activated, we have a new set of options uh, under settings called Thank Me Later. That's where we want to go set up our initial settings. Now, if you've got WP Cron running on your server, you won't get this message. I don't. So it's going to be doing something that will emulate the behavior, but isn't actually WP Cron. Okay, so what we're seeing here now are the messages that have been defined. These are the messages that will be sent out after someone leaves a post, or rather a comment, on the blog. Um, now, you can also do multiple messages. In other words, you know, if they come back and comment again, you can have a second message that goes out, a third or fourth, you know, again, kind of mixing it up. That also helps it make it look a little more personable and a little more realistic, rather than being the same message that's sent out every time they leave a comment. Now, if you do have multiple messages, you'll change the probability on the two messages to be 0.5 and 0.5 if you have two, 0.33 and 0.33 to if you have three. If there's one you want to be sent more often than the other, change its probability 
uh, accordingly. If you want to change this message, click on Edit and change the message here. Now again, remember you want to make this um, personable. You want to make it so that you they think that you've read their comment. Um, and as such, there are some additional little tags that you can use, like author, for example, that'll use the name that they put in the comment. So you can say, hi, author. And if, if they put in Sine, it would say, hi, Sine. Thank you for your comment. Now, this is right out of the box. One thing I do is I go through and I make, I, I pretend that they really did just leave a comment, and I'm thanking them with a real email. So give me a moment to type that up. Okay, so what I've done is gone through and created a custom subject line that I liked. Um, and I actually went through and put a what I feel is a little more personable message. Now again, remember, there are going to be options that say, do they get this message only once, or are they going to get it more than once? So bear that in mind when you write the message. Is it generic, they're going to see it more than once, or is this only the first time, and that's the only time they'll get it? If that's the case, then you can go into a little more detail here. Now, again, I used uh, what's called a short code, and, and those are available to you right here. Just click on this link, and you'll be able to see the ones that you can reference. Okay, um, I used a, a short code to address them by name and to also address the content of the comment they left. So now that I've got my message finished, I can scroll down and I can override some of the uh, options like for example the message delay and I'm going to show you that in just a moment but there's a standardized delay that is utilized across the system if I want to override that and this particular message have it say you know one day plus or minus five hours and then the other messages all other messages uh, plus or minus three days plus or minus six hours. So if I want to use the default, I leave this checked. If I want to override it, I make the change here. I also can restrict by tags, restrict by categories, I can restrict by users, uh, and I can send a sample email to myself by clicking this and clicking update message. Once I finished it, I can go back to the message overview and create a new message. Remember, I can create as many of these as I want to kind of break it up and make it seem a bit more natural. So one thing I like to do is put at least three messages in here um, and then change the delivery rate um, when they're sent based on, you know, is this the first message, the third, or whatever. Now, there are some additional options, some additional settings that you can take a look at. If you want to limit the number of messages that any one person will receive, you can place that limit here. So for example, if I put six, it doesn't matter if this person comes to my blog and comments every single day for a month. He's only going to receive six messages from me. Now if you don't care and you want them to get an email every time they come, and you'll let the probabilities of which message they're going to receive be based on the software, then leave this zero. Now you can also leave this checked, which will force the system to only send unique messages. And then if that's unchecked, that it'll just stop right there. It won't send the same message twice to the same address. But if you check this, it'll say don't send the same message twice to the same address unless all messages have been sent. In other words, start over. What kind of comment gap do you want? In other words, what amount of time do you want for the Thank Me Later plugin to ignore comments after the last comment made by the user? Say, for example, they come in and they um, are going to leave, they're reading my content and they read three leave three comments in a row. If it you know happens that it's you know within say 10 minutes of each other, I want to ignore the second comment because they're already going to get one from me. Um, I, I can also do the send gap. Uh, same thing. So this is if they comment within 10 minutes and this is if I've sent within you know uh, 180 seconds. Okay, then I'm going to skip the second one. Now remember the additional benefit of what Thank Me Later does particularly if you leave your blog link in your email it basically invites them back to the blog now this is one of the reasons it makes sense to not send this immediately this was one of my complaints with uh, these type of thank you plugins if I land on a blog and I leave a comment and I immediately get email from that person thanking me and inviting me back 
it, it doesn't make a lot of sense because I, I'm still on the blog or I've just left. I, I'm I'm not ready to go back. I've seen everything I want to see. By waiting a day or two or even three days, um, the possibility exists for new content. Uh, you can invite them to come look at new posts that you've added or new comments that have been added by other people. So they're much more likely to come back if they haven't just left. This excerpt was provided as a courtesy to my YouTube subscribers. To see the rest of the video, please visit its home page by clicking the link in the description.